So today I'm going to teach you how to make these small little French macarons using clay. Okay. So first you'll need some things. You'll need um, these clay, which should be any clay. It could be polymer clay or resin clay so, and any other clay, it's okay. You'll need the color that you're gonna choose. So, since I choose pink this time, so I'll just go with red acrylic color. If you want to do a chocolate one, then choose a chocolate color. Then, need some toothpick, about two. Need this for you don't need these little things and also this this is just for hanging things. Then you'll need a measuring spoon. Just the size will just depends on how big you want your macaron be. Then you'll need white glue or any glue is okay. You'll need a sponge for drying the macarons. And you need a container or just something to put your acrylic color on. So you need a protractor, any protractor is okay, or any roller. So first, you have your really, really nice clay, and then have the acrylic color on some things, and use a toothpick, and get some, and have it on the clay. You might want to add some more, or else it'll be too light. Then you pull and fold, pull, and fold, pull and fold. So this will, this way won't have your hand dirty. Pull and fold, pull and fold. So it's kind of easy. Even kids can do it. See it change color a bit, and it's kind of pinkishy. <clears throat> like this. Pull. Maybe you think it's not the right color. You add some more of the color. Okay, I think it's bad. Or else you just see there's some paint out there. Just fold it. Don't pull. Maybe you just kind of fold it. Also, it makes your hand dirty. But if you pull and fold, it'll be much faster. Um, having a color change. So, anyway, it's okay. Want your to be in the right color. So, just think it's still too light, then add some more. And I think it's too light. Continue mixing your color until it's the right color. Maybe you want to be a chocolate fa flavor, then just add maybe a little bit because it will be quite obvious.
Macaroons colors are really, really powerful, but you can choose the colors, any color you like, but just have it more natural. I could search on web and search for macaroons and see what colors they have. They could use that as a base. So now it's about this color. About it. I don't know if you can see or not. Yes. That color. So I have about half for one measuring spoon. So this one, make it in a small ball, just like this. And this is the clean surface I put in here. Then you press it and have these push it out, push it out, and gently get it out. Okay. And then use another toothpick and get some of them out. Or you could just tear it off. Either way. And I'll just show you. I have some of them left, so then yes. And then this one because macaroni see there's two layers, so you need two of them. Then you make it a ball again. It don't must be a perfect ball, but best if it's make it. and the clean surface. Put it in, push, push it out, and to get out. Tear it off. Just like this. And then use a roller protractor. Use the shiny surface here. Not this side because there's print words on it. So use this side and press about. More ones, I don't know. Just a little bit bigger. About the size. Just make it still thick, but bigger. You know, and see, it's the same size. So it's right. Then you put it out. Use your toothpick and just make the holes of it. Just like this. So you can make like a. It seems more macaroni -ish. You can make these little spiky holes, these air bubbles things. Because my own is like this. Don't make it more neat. I mean, don't make it neat. Make it a little bit messy. Or else, if you make it too neat, it'll be too thick. So I'm going to make this one too. So, since you want to make it so I don't make this, and then when you finish, put it on a sponge so it will be easier to dry. If you put it on a table, it'll stick. If you put it on a sponge, there's, those water should go in it. And then, since I've ready some dried ones, you need another clay, a white clay, then about the size of 
this surface. Use a protractor. Just measure how big is this. See, it's yeah, no, it's seventy and a hundred one more a little bit. So you can see that. Yeah. So when you press this, well, you know how big it should be. Yeah, just exactly here. Then you measure if it's right. See, it's fit. So you put on some light glue here first. Some on it. And a little bit. Oopsie, swim it. Let's just open it. Okay. So I go this and stick it on. And then here, put some white glue on it. Then you stick this on. Then you see it's like this. <coughs> Remember, I got these two. It's just for decorating or making accessories. So here we got this little one. So remember we got this too. Have some glue on it. Not too close to the paint. Have some glue. Use Another is use a clean toothpick or the toothpick you make those pattern. And then have this. Use toothpick. And do it like this. Add to the where you think it should be. Then you have it like this. And just let it dry. Let's dry you could add these on. But since it's not dry, so we won't add it yet. 